Uh, I want to bring into the conversation now Congresswoman Jackie Speer, Democrat from California. She is a member of the House Intelligence Committee as well as the House Oversight Committee. As such, she would have been afforded the opportunity today to see this complaint. Congresswoman, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you making the time. Thank you for having me on, Rachel. Were you able to view the whistleblower complaint today? Um, I know that it was made available to members of your committee. Yes, I did review it in its totality. Um, and I know that I am not going to push you at all to try to make you talk about classified things that you cannot talk about. Um, but I, I want to ask your own personal reaction to looking at that document, your sense of its importance and your reaction to it. Rachel, I can describe that complaint as nothing short of explosive. It is so much more than the summary of the telephone call that um, has been presented by the White House uh, as evidence. And I'm not even in a position to say that that was at all involved in the complaint uh, until it is actually declassified. But I can tell you that I was stunned by the breadth of the complaint and the details with which the uh, whistleblower expressed his concerns. Now, the inspector general uh, did find that it was both credible and urgent. And in the 15 months since he has been appointed by President Trump, uh, he has never found a whistleblower complaint to reach the stage of being urgent. Hmm. But he has, in fact, transferred all of these whistleblower complaints to the committee, as have previous uh, inspector generals as well. So he was handling this by the book, and it was the director of national intelligence that turned the tables on him. In terms of that urgent um, designation that you just described there, that's striking that this inspector general hasn't found other complaints to deserve that that specific designation. Can you help us understand what that means? Does that mean that if this complaint is not addressed, there is an urgent risk of national security harm to the United States? Is that, is that what that means, or does it have some other technical meaning in this context? No, you're, you're absolutely right. The term um, is defined in uh, the statute, but it does speak to the uh, impact on national security and the risk to um, the United States. So it met that classification. You'll hear from the acting director of national intelligence tomorrow at your committee. We're all very much looking forward to that live testimony at 9 a.m. From what you have seen and from what you understand about how this progresses, the relationship between that publicly available um, uh, phone call, those notes from that phone call that we saw today, the complaint that you've seen, the what you've heard already from the inspector general, your, the expected testimony from the DNI. Do you expect that we, the public, are ever going to know the contours of what really happened here and what this whistleblower was trying to raise these red flags about? Or is this something that is always going to be mostly classified and we're going to have to guess at it? No, I don't think it will be mostly classified because, in fact, uh, most of which the whistleblower uh, described he believed was unclassified. Hmm. So uh, I think a, a good portion of it will be made available uh, to the rest of the members of Congress and to the public at large. Uh, it's really important, though, to ask the director of national intelligence, when you have a statute that requires you, after seven days upon receiving from the inspector general a credible and urgent whistleblower complaint, why he didn't automatically send it to the House Intelligence Committee and the Senate Intelligence Committee. Somehow, word got to the White House or to the Attorney General? And I guess one of the questions we need to ask tomorrow is, why did he contact them or was he contacted by the White House because they had somehow gotten wind of this? Hmm. That seems like the sort of thing that should be sort of clarifiable at, at that testimony. Congresswoman Jackie Speer from the great state of California, member of the House Intelligence Committee. Uh, Congresswoman, really looking forward to that testimony tomorrow. Thanks for helping us understand it in advance tonight. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.